What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, man, we have some insane wrestling action figure news, some insane WWE Mattel action figure news that I cannot wait to cover with you guys. I am absolutely blown away, and we're going to dive into it. This might be one of the top moments that Mattel and WWE and Ringside Collectibles have ever achieved or done or anything like that, man. We're going to dive into all of the situation and break it all down for you, man. But today, I want to get into something this morning. We posted up a video talking about this post that was from Ringside Collectibles yesterday, Teasing a new ringside exclusive for today that would be revealed at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern time today on March 6th. Well, 2 p.m. came, man, and they released an absolute banger on top of us, man. I mean, it is absolutely unreal what we have in store today, man. It is crazy. Let's go ahead and dive into it, man. They posted up this right here. Introducing the Ringside Collectibles exclusive series number one from the Vault WWE Elite Series. And if you're wondering what the blue hell the From the Vault Elite Series is. New exclusive Elite Series introducing Mattel WWE Elite from the Vault Ringside Exclusive Series number one available only at WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% like it says on the screen. This set includes Kane, Undertaker, DX, Triple H, DX, Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, John Cena, and the Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray Dudley, and Devon Dudley. These are up for pre-order right now. You can go over there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Just add a tab, go pre pre-order them right now using code MD Toys. You can pause the video. Go go pre-order this set right now, man. This is an absolute just ridiculous set, man. Let's take a look at the full wave here, man. So they have taken previously released, highly sought after Mattel Classic WWE Elite figures and re-released them as a full set, ringside exclusive set here from the vault as they say. And we're going to dissect each figure one by one. We're going to dive into the packaging, man. This is just an insane idea. I wanted to dive into sort of my thoughts on the set before we dived into the set or before we dove into the set, but this is just remarkable, man. And there, I guess at the end of the video, we'll kind of get into my uh, some more thoughts that I have on this set, but this is this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. They Every single figure that they selected for this is, is amazing. This is some of the best figures or best elites from the Mattel lineup that we have seen over the course of history, and they plucked them from all over, man. This isn't just mainline elites. This isn't just certain figures, man. Man, they plucked them from all over, and we're going to talk about that here in the video as well, man. But this is crazy. I am absolutely blown away, man. Let's dive into it. Starting out first, we do have the From the Vault Series Number 1 Elite John Cena. Now, another thing that you'll notice, man, is the packaging for this set. The packaging for this set is very reminiscent of the new Legends Elites that are Target exclusive. And I say that because it's kind of a combination of the old 2010 versions of Mattel WWE Elite figures. And we're going to, I'll show you the inspirations. So, you guys can see the new packaging right here for these from the vault series in the middle and then on the left hand side you have the classic 2010 wwe elite boxes which is i think everybody's favorite versions of elite boxes at least for me personally i think it is my favorites i do have some other favorites but this is probably my top one i just think it's so nostalgic it looks so clean and i don't know there's something about it that just makes it look magical so i think the packaging that they chose is insane you'll notice on the top of the box in the elite collection it's also very similar to that it's the same exact elite collection logo that they they used to use. You have the modern logo in there. It's just very beautiful. And then on the right side of the, the screen, I did have the new Legends packaging, which is a combination of also that style, but with a modern sleek touch to it. I so, just think they've done a really good job here on this packaging. But the John Cena figure, man, this John Cena figure, this is a direct, a re-release pretty much, of the original Defining Moments Draft Lottery 2005 Elite John Cena figure, which used to be one of my favorite Mattels of all time. And it's still damn good. It's still a damn good one. You guys can see here. Uh, you know, this, I do believe this was a Spirit of St. Louis jersey, I think. It comes with a slew of accessories. This figure was highly sought after as the original Defining Moments here. He comes with his chain gang pendant, his hat. He comes with a U.S. spinner belt, which they make way too small. And it is, it is the original figure that they re-released or it is the original belt that they're redoing right here. It's still too small. I think the Jax version's better. That's neither here nor there. I just wanted to mention it. But also the WWE Championship, it's pretty much the exact figure. I mean, it, it there's not a ton of changes. They do have the double-jointed arms and it does look like they've added true effects or like a printed on version of the previously released head sculpt for these figures but they do have the double jointed arms but they still have you know they still have the the old John Cena shoe mold that I've never liked or you know that that we've touched on multiple times but this is crazy man this is crazy I know a lot of people are going to want this figure uh, it's one of my favorite John Cena's they've ever done it's right in the money era there with the chain gang and everything I do hate that they couldn't do some other added stuff to it but this is another version of the greatest hits line right and 
I know a lot of people are probably seeing these figures, and this is what I was going to touch on at the end of the video is, you know, I probably should just save it, but I'll touch on a little bit of it here. I know a lot of people are probably thinking out there, oh my god, they're just re-releasing figures over and over and over and over again, and I hear where you're at, but I think this, let's get through the video, and then after we get into the set, we'll dive into more of that, but this John Cena is great. You get the white tee underneath the jersey, and again, it's one of my favorites of all time. It's so beautiful, men on car too, man. This thing is beautiful. It's a, it's a good addition right here, man. Let's move on to the next figure in the set. We also have Hall of Champions Target Exclusive Elite Ultimate Warrior, man. This figure, this is one of Warrior's best figures in my opinion. I think the colors are so great. You get the winged eagle. It's just a beautiful looking figure overall, man. Very toyetic. I think it's one of his best figures, man. Especially in elite figure form. It's one of my favorite Warriors. And I'm not a big Warrior guy, but the colors on here, the championship, everything. Even again, men on card, this figure looks immaculate. So, yeah, they did choose Ultimate Warrior. I think this is a good one to pick. I'm pretty sure I picked this up after market. I never found this figure at retail. I had to grab this loose in the aftermarket. And I'm pretty sure it was 50 or 60 bucks. So now you get a brand new version of this figure. Not only do you get a new version of it, but it's also got all the updated stuff. You get the double jointed arms, you get all the bells and whistles, so that's another version of it that's great here. So we do have Ultimate Warrior from the Hall of Champions, the original. I'm going to try my best to do a side-by-side -side of the original figure versus this figure as well, men on card when we showcase these figures in this video. But this is probably the figure I'm most looking forward to in the set because this is a figure I've never had the opportunity to own, especially complete. This figure right here is insane or pretty... It's incredibly hard to find complete with all of accessories and all those things. And now it's even updated, so we'll dive into that, man. Elite 7 Shawn Michaels being redone here for this From the Vault series. This is a beautiful one, man. You get the DX Army jersey. You get the cowboy hat. He has the green sweatbands. Now, again, I really wish they could have done molded wristbands on not only this Shawn Michaels Elite 7 redo, greatest hits version from this From the Vault series, but also if they could have done that for the John Cena Elite from the original Defining Moments that's in this set as well. That would have been really cool, but you get the glow sticks, you get the hat, you get everything, man. The camo pants, DX Shawn Michaels from Elite Series 7, double jointed arms. This is a figure that I've wanted for so long, I've never had the opportunity to own it, and every time you try to find this figure, it's like 90 to 100 bucks loose, so I think that this is a really great addition here, and this is figures, it's crazy because some of these figures are figures we tried to fantasy book into the next Greatest Hit series, or that we tried to book into the next Legends Greatest Hit series, so it's crazy. This is insane, man. I'm truly blown away, man. I cannot wait to dive into the rest of this with you. But the D the DX Sean is just such a great... That's three figures that they have picked that have been highly sought after, man. Let's continue on. Not only are you getting Shawn Michaels from Elite Series 7, you're also getting the Elite 7 Triple H figure. But another addition here is they changed the head sculpt, man. They actually changed the head sculpt to, personally, one of my favorite Triple, H's, Triple H head sculpts they've ever done. This has come in a couple battle packs, I think. They also put it in some basics. I've fixed up some of my, some of my Elite Triple H. Triple H's with this head sculpt because it's so good. It actually is a really good likeness to Triple H. Way better than the original Elite 7. Way better than the original Elite 2 head sculpt that came on Triple H. You get the shirt in there. You do get his DX Army hat. You get the glow sticks as we talked about. It is a beautiful figure. Again, double jointed arms, all the bells and whistles. Just such a good figure, man. Great figure right here. Definitely one that I will be grabbing. I, I'm just so excited for this set, man. It's very nostalgic, too, because they put, not only are they re-releasing these great figures, but they're putting it in these in this packaging and I really think that they're attacking that nostalgia feel of collectors from back in 2010, 2011. I mean, you gotta think, if you were 10 years old when this figure originally released, you're now in your 20s, man. I mean, that's kind of sickening to think about. It's kind of sad, but yeah, that's a real thing. So they're really going for the nostalgia vibe, which is why I think this is an, an incredible uh, just a business decision by Mattel and Ringside Collectibles. I think it's just genius because, you know, you can now not only, you know, tap into that nostalgia from a few, from years back when you were a child or what have you, but you're also getting new collectors that missed out on those figures the first go around. That and you're updating the figures from their original form. So there's a lot of really good things that are happening from this right here, and you don't have to pay you know seven hundred dollars for a figure. You know what I mean? So there's that. But next up, we also have the Dudley Boys, man. And I think this. I remember when I said. I mean, I I guessed Ringside exclusive Dudley Boys, but I said that it would be an Ultimate Edition two pack. Now I still think that that could take place, especially re-releasing these. Guys. Guys, I thought you may see these in a Greatest Hits Legends wave. I thought you may see these guys in, you know, one of the Greatest Hits, you know, series that's coming soon. But it looks like we're getting it in this version of it from the Vault Ringside Exclusive set with Bubba Ray and Devon. These figures look crazy. These are originally from Elite Series 45, and I only have one set of these, so getting these back in the collection is epic. Now you can fix up your other ones. 
Um, probably would fix up this these versions compared to the original versions if I if I do say so myself I don't know exactly there but these will be a lot easier to come by here with this series one these these figures uh, were always great and I think that we will probably get these guys later on down the line in the ultimate edition form in some way now I'm still gonna stick to my guns and say that we're gonna get ultimate editions of these fellas but for, I don't know if it's gonna be ringside exclusive but I do believe we're gonna get Dudley boy ultimate editions before it's all said and done however you know, these elites are great. I think these are a great re-release. I think we'll also see these guys in the Legends set from Target before it's all said and done as well. You guys know they're both under Legends deal, so I imagine these guys are going to be under some set. They're, we're going to get more elites of the Dudley Boys. Can't wait. I hope we get their ECW looks. I hope we get some, some late 90s looks, early 2000s, even some Ruthless Aggression looks, hopefully, of these guys because they're awesome. So hopefully that will be the case, man. Love me some Dudley Boys, of course, as always. But the last two figures in the set, man, we have a re-release of the defining moments undertaker figure man look at this head sculpt man i love this I, I love this you got the teardrop in there this is beautiful it even comes with the bat wings or the big old wings on there it's insane what figures they put in this set man i mean just truly remarkable how beautiful the selection was for these figures, man. I am absolutely blown away by who they selected, what they selected, the figures that they chose for this. I mean, they are they they put on the gloves and they started swinging profusely. It's crazy how good this is. Defining Moments Undertaker right here, man. Love this figure. Originally, again, like I said, in the Defining Moments set, he did have a couple Defining Moments, but this is the first released Defining Moments Undertaker figure. And what's even nuttier, man, is when you take a look at like different waves. Like, look at the Monday Night War set with the Stone Cold Steve Austin from that said that's essentially the defining moment stone cold steve austin figure redone as well so they're finding a lot of ways to re-release these figures that were previously missed out on you've seen it over the years man and i hope that defining moments triple h is on his way that's that's another figure i don't care where it is legends greatest hits from the vault set whatever they want to do man they got to get that figure redone but hell an ultimate edition of that version of triple h would be insane but let's move into the last figure man the last figure is going to be ringside exclusive hardcore cane being redone from this from the vault set and this is another fantastic selection man hardcore cane they're using the ultimate edition cane head sculpt which is significantly better the first go around which is a genius choice they're using the more jacked arms that we've begged for for years i know the torso you know say what you want about the torso i still think the torso is too small for cane but this is still a lot better using the the bigger arm mold that they've been using for cane the last couple years here it makes it look a lot a lot better it really captures how big cane was so that is nice to see another version of cane that people have been wanting for so many years now this is and i know people are flocking to get this and again man if you are on the fence about any of these figures just think about how long you've possibly been like oh yeah they, like take every figure from the set if you've ever wanted this, this the figures from these sets but you've never been able to find them for good price or what have you complete with all their accessories you know what i mean you now have an opportunity to buy an updated modern version with double jointed arms of these figures for retail price or slightly above a retail price online retail price that you will not be able to find these anywhere else man so i think that it goes without saying that you need to, to you need to grab these if you are on the fence or you want these figures at all this is the time to do so and again use code md toys if you're going to do so but this is another thing that's crazy as i really think that i guess now i can kind of dive into my thoughts on this full set here and just everything about it so the cane figure like i said is a ringside exclusive it's a previously released ringside exclusive well that tells me that you know they've, they've been doing all these greatest hits sets they've always they've been doing these you know best of sets and all of these re-releases. You have the Legends Greatest Hits line at Target. You have the regular Greatest Hits that have been hitting different retailers and things that are previously released figures that, you know, maybe they didn't get the best distribution or maybe they're highly sought after by the aftermarket and eBay and all these different places. So, you know, Ringside, they probably wanted to put some Ringside exclusive figures that are highly sought after in the in these sets. And I'm sure that they probably had an agreement or maybe they've talked with the Ringside Collectibles and they've said, you know, they're really going to, it's really going to devalue or, you know, devalue the special vibe that these figures have if we re-release a ringside exclusive in one of the greatest hits waves or one of the legends greatest hits waves so i guess the answer to that would be okay well let's make our own ringside exclusive greatest hits wave which is what this is essentially and we can throw in some ringside exclusive figures because now they are ringside exclusive anyway so now you're getting a re-release of a previously released ringside exclusive which is insane like i said so i think that's probably the where like kind of what led to this but i just feel like there's so much money to be made by by Mattel by doing this that it would it's honestly genius I think it's a genius idea you know if you're a, if you're a collector and you've been holding on to these figures you know I think that uh, now would be the time to, to start potentially 
you know, selling figures that, you know, you, you thought you could hold on to for a while. Maybe you're going to have to start selling those off. This would be the time if you're on the fence about that. Because I imagine, you know, with CM Punk back, they're going to put that SES Punk back out. I think that we could see SES Punk back in this set right here. I think that, you know, if Sting signs a Legends deal, you're going to see Wolfpack Sting in this set right here in one of these From the Vault series. A lot of these highly sought after figures that have, you know, been out for a decade now or close to a decade, they're going to slowly, uh, they're going to, if, if they're high in the aftermarket, man, they're going to be a potential candidate for this series. And it may be something that you want to look into selling right now so you get the highest, you know, market value for. Because, you know, you can't really, I mean, if you're sitting on something for years and years and years, what's the point anyway? You're not even getting the, the value of it. I know some people collect for value and some people just collect for the love of the game and whatnot. If you're not aware, this is a, you know, this is a good time to show that, you know, action figures are a tough market when it comes to collecting for value. Like, obviously, some do hold their value, but a lot of them do not hold their value. Sometimes they, they stay right at their value. Some A lot of times they dip below their value. And sometimes they do go up a little bit. You can turn a profit. I know a lot of people that do flip figures and what have you. And, you know, there are definitely scalpers out there that, you know, buy figures and then sell them for two, three times the price. But I feel like that, in a scalper's case, you know, they're not usually hoarding figures and then flipping them later. They're usually, you know, they find stuff first and then they flip it immediately to people that want the figures immediately. But there are people out there that collect strictly for value that are not scalpers. They're just collecting for value. And, you know, it's cool to have a piece that's like, oh yeah, that figure is like 250 bucks now. I bought that way back for like 20 bucks or what have you. And a lot of that's probably going to go away now with the release of all these greatest hits figures. However, you know, this is a this is a time for you to maybe like sell off some of those figures to, to you know, put some extra money in your pocket and what have you. You, but it's all just a, a crazy thing, man. So, and that's uh, this is something I've always talked about with the WWE figure aftermarket, especially when dealing with Mattel figures. Is they have a very it's it's always unpredictable. I always say you can never predict the aftermarket of WWE action figures in the Mattel space because a figure shoots up and shoots down all the time, man. Figures are always fluctuating in prices and, and varying depending on different factors. And so this is just another one of those examples of that being the case. So it's just crazy to see. But I know a lot of people are going to be annoyed with the re-releases again, but I think there's good and bad or some things that I like and dislike. There's some things that I love about it and don't like about it and what have you, because I, I do agree that like the original form of figures is amazing, but having updated versions of those and not having to pay a fortune is also nice, but also if you have those highly sought after figures, men on card, or you've held on to those for so long and you were hoping that you could, you know, sell those off one day, that is also disappointing to be like, oh damn, that's not going to hold the same value that it did. So I, I definitely see both sides of the coin there, man. But this set overall, I think, is insane. This is just insane. I don't know. I don't have really another response to it. I think that uh, they're just gonna get a lot of collectors with this wave, and I like I like all the figures here. Like I said, they didn't select a random one-off figure. Every figure that they chose has a lot of things that are great about it. And a, a lot of these figures are highly sought after. I don't know what the going rate for all of these figures was before these were released, before these from the vault figures were shown off. But I'd certainly like to know the average value of of these figures in this set in the aftermarket prior to these figures coming out. So nonetheless, man, that about wraps it up for the video, I do believe. But I did want to get on here and touch on this because I think it's insane. But we do have more reveals coming in a couple weeks for the Mattel Creations Revealed event. Then we're going to have even more figures. I guarantee these figures are going to be on display at WrestleMania World up in Philadelphia. So we'll definitely have some coverage there as well. But this is just crazy, man. This is crazy stuff. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Let me know all of your thoughts, man, on everything. From most part, I saw everybody was just kind of blown away by I just kind of in shock of of this of this release of these uh, figures being released here, man. But I would like to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. But that is gonna wrap the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>